I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Principal Wells. Hey. Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. That's the one. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Sir, my well of witticisms run so deep that you would get trapped at the bottom and never make it out alive. Jokes? In my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. How did you become principal without learning the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment, illegal search and seizure? We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. Is it also policy to label certain students high risk and then single them out for special intimidation tactics? How do you know about that designation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we, uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. <laughs>